So for people who are looking for the next AI gadget, I think this is for you guys. Everybody loves this thing. It looks amazing. Let's get into it. There's only one other thing like it and it's called the AI pen. I did a whole nother video uh, on it. A, you can watch it if you want. I'll link it in the description. But this Rabbit R1 came out at CES 2024 and it made a big splash. They came out with a whole half hour presentation of what this thing does. And it was pretty impressive because for one, they partnered with Teenage Engineering and they made it look freaking awesome. It has a screen, it's a pretty basic screen, but that's all you need for that screen. It's got a couple little knobs and buttons. It looks amazing. They absolutely nailed the look of it. And I know that they know that this is an extra gadget that people don't want to, don't want to carry with them. And you know what? I think they have a bigger plan. I have to have a bigger plan than the cage and gone in 60 seconds. And the plan is this. Once, once people get it, start using it, it's gonna be proof of concept that people want that stuff, that people want it. Because this thing's basically a mini computer. It's got a little camera on it, it's got a screen, it's got a, it's got a processor in there. It's a mini computer, which basically what the phones are, what the iPhone is, any of the Google, any, any of the phones, that's what they are, mini computers. So there's nothing stopping them from taking this, taking the software that they have and implementing it into the current phone, right? But by then you already have the name recognition of the rabbit as the AI go-to assistant. You trust them and you download the app. And from then on, you just use the rabbit. And just like that, you take over the market. It's pretty smart because we are pretty hard to like we don't flip over on software that easy, right? Like if you use Siri, you use Siri. If you use a particular web browser, you use a particular web browser. We don't flip on software that easy. But one of the biggest selling points of the rabbit, here it is, you're able to teach it stuff. Let's say I have a unique routine or task I cannot do on my phone. R1 can do that too. We are experimenting with what we call the teach mode. Just like how I can teach my friend how to skateboard, I can show R1 how to do it and it will learn from. This means that any user, regardless of technical background, can teach R1 to learn new skills. For real, that was actually amazing. Can you, like, if you were able to teach your phone, like literally put in a command and from then on, every time you do something, that command stays. It's like you literally teach it how to do a particular thing, where to browse, what to browse for. That right there, it might take some work. It might take some work initially, but if you can teach this thing to, to do things exactly how you like it, you teach it once, you, you know, you type it in, you code it once, and then you just, and then it just does the potential of that to save you time over the years. Amazing. And that's why. And that's why they're going thinking outside the box. It's not just the AI stuff, but this is like how to implement it in our daily lives and what people want. That's what's really the big benefit for these guys. This is what's going to make them win. They're like, you know, thinking a little bit into the future. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Bye.